Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd here. Welcome to day eight. Woo, rolling along here. Love this. So now we're going to be talking about uh, tools that you can use as far as content creation in regards to images. So one of the great ones that I like to use is the snipping tool. If I've got something on my page that I need to uh, throw into a presentation or a slideshow or maybe just send over to a client, um, I'll use uh, the snipping tool. Now I've taken that one step further and used this nifty little program called Sketch. Now I'll put a link underneath this video so you can get your hands on it as well. And what it does is everything that the snipping tool does but it lets me go ahead and add little uh, annotations. I can put some words on it. I can use arrows. Um, I can blur things out, pixelize, you know, if I need to keep some information private. But it's like the snipping tool on steroids. It is fantastic. So I'll put a link underneath that for you as well. Now, another thing that I use is Photoshop. I'm not really a, a skilled Photoshop user. I uh, just kind of use it for some basic things. So if you've got Photoshop, great. I'm going to also put in a link underneath here uh, because a lot of times I'm doing um, product pictures. You know, um, for information products, even though it's digital information, I'll still have a picture of the actual of a book or, a, um, you know, a tablet or something with the actual program on it. You can see down in the corner of this video here, uh, I used a nifty little Photoshop add-in to make that sales funnel boot camp uh, like it's appearing on a tablet there. So I'm going to put a link to that as well underneath this video so that you can go and check out some of these things. Try out the snipping tool. Try out Skitch if you want. That's your homework is to try out these things. Go check them out and try out some of these tools here. So this makes image, manipulating images um, as fast as easy and as possible because I find a good way to waste time is to, for me personally, to go into Photoshop and try and either create something or play around with something. There's a way better option, but we're going to be talking about kind of a neat way to get around that problem if you're like me. So go ahead and check out those the links underneath here for your homework today, and I will see you in the next video.